I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Matt Healy, the Executive Director for Astute Metals. Matt, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Shay. Thanks for having me again. Uh, thrilled to have you on and very exciting news with this uh, fleet space technologies deal that you've just struck. Uh, listen, talk me through it. Yeah, sure. So uh, we've just entered into a, a collaboration with Fleet Space Technologies uh, to do some exploration at our Rankin tenements. And Rankin is the eastern part of our Northern Territory Georgina Basin IOCG project. And, and essentially, uh, Fleet are going to take uh, an equity stake and astute and at the same time conduct a ambient noise tech, um, tomography survey on our Rankin tenements, uh, which, is, which is pretty exciting. Now, Matt, I know you've just said that Fleet Space Technologies uh, have taken an equity stake in the business, and it looks like they have paid a significant premium for this. Yeah, that's right. So, so Stu will be issuing a uh, touch over 8.5 million shares uh, to, to Fleet to conduct the survey uh, for a total value of about 400,000. And that's that calculates at about a 67% premium to the last traded price as of yesterday uh, and at 4.7 cents a share. So uh, this is a this is a great outcome for the for the company, uh, and it's and it's a bit of endorsement from Fleet in terms of what uh, how they value uh, what we do and how we go about our exploration business. Tell me, where does this type of uh, surveying method fit in the overall exploration process? Uh, well, it, what we're trying to achieve here at Rankin is is look for uh, particular kind of rocks that are coming up uh, that are subcropping here. So. So Geoscience Australia did some work in uh, 2023 that looked at the prospectivity of a large part of the Northern Territory for sediment hosted base metal deposits. And this particular area came up uh, as a really high priority, um, high prospectivity area, I should say. And that's because it's expected that the, the Mount Isa rocks, there's in the rocks that host the, the, you know, the legendary Mount Isa deposit in Northwest Queensland, uh, expected to be underneath uh, the rank and tenement area. So really what we're trying to achieve with this uh, ambient noise tomography survey is to pick where those rocks are coming up as a, as a primary objective. And then secondarily, we're going to look for within that package of rocks, where are some areas that might be a bit more prospective for base metal mineralization. Uh, as you alluded to a little bit in your answer, and I wouldn't mind you expanding on it, is uh, this area wasn't previously thought to have a base metals mineralization, but the geoscience study is, has suggested that it could be um, um, could have the same sort of mineralization as Mount Isa. Uh, tell me, why was this area overlooked? Why is it not being studied before? Oh, look, I guess how it came to um, our attention, other people's attention, is that the geoscience Australia under started undertaking. Some pretty substantial studies over a lot of big swathes of northern Australia, maybe about uh, almost 10 years ago, it started. They sunk 40 to 60 million dollars worth of geoscience investigations into the region. And um, that's what that's what drove, uh, the, I guess, the, the tenement staking uh, frenzy, if you want to call it that over the East Tenant region, because they they worked out that there was prospective iron oxide copper gold deposits. Now, if you go a little bit further east, they've actually picked up that this area where we are at Rankin is is prospective for sediment hosted deposits like Mount Isa, which has you know been mined for over a hundred years now. So, so that's why you know, I guess no one's really been looking at this area seriously previously. Uh, but off the back of all that work, it's it's looking like a great place to be doing exploration. It is, and you're certainly taking an innovative approach to exploration. Uh, tell me, when are Fleet Street going to be able to get these geodes in the ground? And when are we going to start getting some sort of data to see what type of rocks that you've got out there? Yeah, sure. Uh, so Fleet uh, are looking to get out there in August this year. The survey will take about a month, and uh, we'll look to see it data coming in being, well, it actually, the data comes in as it's, as it's collected, and we'll be, uh, we'll be looking at that data um, in conjunction with Fleet, uh, but then the, the final kind of report and everything will be done in the month or two afterwards, which will include some interpretations as well. Uh, listen, Matt, this is a, a great approach to exploration, and I love the partnership as well for you. Uh, I cannot wait to see what type of data you dig up. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks, Shay.